Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to show you how you can do a lookup in Power Query. So I've downloaded some data from the World Bank that shows world development indicators by different countries and regions of the world. And so here in the data tab I've got country codes and on the country tab I've got the country codes and the detailed information about their, their names and what parts of the world they relate to. And so I want to join, join this information together. Now, normally what you may want to do in this case is just do a VLOOKUP, an XLOOKUP, or a combination of index and match to pull that data in here. But I'm going to show you how you can accomplish this using Power Query. So for starters, I'm going to go to the Data tab and create the Power Query connection by selecting From Table or Range. And Excel is automatically going to detect uh, my range because I've already got it selected on here. And it's going to give me the option to create a table. And I'm going to hit OK. And now it's going to launch Power Query and create that, create that table for me in there. Now, the only thing I'm going to do here is filter the indicators. Just because I've got so much data in here, I don't want to pull in absolutely everything. And what I'm also going to do is rename this just so it's a bit uh, more clear what it is. And I'm gonna hit close and load. Now it's gonna create a new tab, pull that data into there. And once that's loaded, what I'm gonna do is repeat that process for the country tab. So I go into here, I'll do the same option from table range, just waiting for this to load. And then once it does, I can create the query and then work on combining that data. So from table range again, hit OK. And now I've got another query loaded in here. I'm going to rename this, calling it countries, just so it's a bit clear. And I'm going to switch back onto my main query. And I'll show you why this is important in, in a second. And I'm going to click on the option to merge queries. And when I merge queries, it's going to give me the option to select another query that I want to merge with and how I want to accomplish that merge. So the only other one I'm really going to obviously use is the countries one. And just like with any sort of lookup, you want to pick, you know, what column uh, or what field relates to um, the, the other table. So what's common between these two tables is the country code, right? So if you were doing a lookup, you'd look up this value and search for it in in this in this column and then extract whatever fields that you want now the reason i switched over to my main uh data table my data query first was because i wanted to leave this left outer join as my default so what this really means is a left outer join means i'm including all the values from my first table which is my data table and then only the matching ones from the second one now this can be an issue when you don't have everything matching so in this case it tells me that it matches 1060 rows out of 1064 so that means there are four rows on here that it cannot find that it can't match up to in this country code so if i were to use something like a right outer or an inner join only where it's not gonna include everything from here, there's a potential I could lose information by, by selecting the wrong kind of join. So if you're not familiar with this process, what I'd suggest is when you're, when you're doing the merge is to first swap over to your main uh, data table, then running the merge, and then just leaving the, the join uh, as it is. So that way you're including everything from here. So you're not, potentially excluding anything on here because there are a lot of different joins you can do um, but the main one is you want to include all the values from your main table so that when you're doing a lookup even if there's uh, a value that isn't found that's just not gonna you know result in you losing information so this looks okay and what i'm going to do now is click okay and now power, power query is going to create a new column for me and within there there's a table and in this table, I can see exactly the, the data that's, that's linking to in this, 
in this uh, country's query. So for instance, I've got the country code, the short name, the table name, the long name, all this sorts, all this sort of information. So a lot of these are empty values. And really all, all I'm gonna do is pull the short name from here. So to expand this, these values out, because right now they're in tables, I click this button here, which shows two arrows separating, so sort of like it's uh, expanding out. If I click on this, it'll give me an option to select all these columns, but I don't want that. I, I just want the short name. And there's an option here to use the original column as a prefix. I'll show you what that is. So if I click OK, what that means is that prefix countries is going to is going to show up in the, in the field name. So if you don't want that, you can go back into the settings and just clear this out. And then you'll just see the short name showing up here in the description. So this can be useful if you're merging a lot of different queries together and you wanna keep track of you know, which table that came from. But in this case, I'm only pulling it from one, so it's not necessary. Another thing you may wanna do once you've done the merge is maybe rearrange um, your, your columns a bit. So I could drag this across, but I'll show you a quicker way to do that. So you'll notice once I started reordering columns, it created a, a step here called reorder columns. And there's a formula up here that basically shows me all my different columns. So I've got short name down here. So rather than dragging it across, what I can do is just quickly update this, update this formula. And so I'll delete this. And then, you know, I want to add the short name right after the country code. So I'll put it right there, short name, comma. And this has the same effect as if I were to drag it over manually. So it's a lot, a lot easier. So I've got country code here and I've got the short name and I've got all my other data. So at this point, if I'm, I'm good with um, the information as it is, I don't need to make any changes, then my merge, my lookup is done. Now I can hit close and load. And now this will create the query in or, or pull the data into into my Excel spreadsheet. Now you'll notice it creates that countries uh, tab as well. I don't need that because really this is just a duplicate. So you can actually delete this from here and it's not gonna affect anything um, because by default, uh, Power Query is creating that uh, additional tab for you. And so what I can do is right click on this and just delete it. And what I do, it's gonna show as a connection only. So it's which is fine. And now I've got my query here for for my data, and now I've got the country code and the short name as well, so that lookup has worked properly. And so here we can check what those missing values were for the short names. So these are the, the blanks that weren't matched up. So there was a country code INX that you know, apparently didn't didn't show up on here. And so if you didn't select the, the right type of join, these could potentially have been excluded from your from your download. So depending on what kind of join you want, that's just another reminder that, you know, just to uh, pay attention to that if you've not selected your your main um, your main data table when when doing the merge and, and joining the fields together. But that's how you can do a lookup in Power Query. It's not terribly complicated, but there are just a few steps to, to do. The main part is really you're creating the queries for um, your two tables, one your, your main table and the one that you want to look up the values from, and then selecting the right type of join. By default, you know it should be just the left outer if you selected your main data table, and then selecting whatever fields you want to pull from. So it's not a terribly complicated process, but there are some some step to, steps to watch out for just to make sure that you're pulling everything correctly. So hope you found that useful and thank you very much for watching.